welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Shondo On The Go. I'm here at Citrix Synergy and I am at my absolute favorite place on the Synergy Expo floor and that is the Simply Serve booth within Citrix Synergy. It is so important and is such a vital part of the Citrix culture to give back to the communities in which we serve. So that's what we're doing here at Simply Serve and I want to introduce you to some of the people that make it tick. First, we have Joe Moskowitz Hello, from Sean. Citrix. Joe, thank you so it's much for being here. Thank you. Tell us, tell our viewers a sure. little bit about Simply Serve and what sure. we do. It's really an honor to be at these conferences because we get a chance to extend the Citrix culture of giving back to our customers and our employees. And they love taking the opportunity to do just a little to support the local community. So yesterday, we put together steam kits so that's STEM with an A for art. Okay. And those kits are going to be donated to the local schools thanks to the United Way who will be helping us distribute them. Nice. Today we're putting together battle bots. So we have 34 students from two local high schools that are building robots. Mm -hmm. They're decorating them, then they're going to battle them. Nice. And the cool part is they get to keep the robots and take them back to the schools with them and continue learning more about STEM and getting excited about how important it is in today's world especially mm -hmm. to be involved in STEM and to continue to keep technology at their forefront. Right, and I love STEAM. Steam. I love the idea Steam. of introducing arts into yes, these kids. it's everywhere now. So vital for that creative part of our right. thinking. The first group I reached out to was the United Way of Greater Atlanta, right. knowing that they have their pulse on what's happening in the community. Yeah. So it was through Keisha Stanley and her team that we were really able to bring the students here and to do something meaningful to the community. We try to leave these conferences better off than when we got here by just giving them some of the things that our customers and our partners and our employees have put together. And that's so important. It's such a big part of our culture is to truly give back to those communities. And like Joe said, we've got these students all from the Atlanta area coming in to participate in this but they came here via United Way. Yes. And yes. Keisha Stanley, thank you so yes. much for being here and sure. thank you for participating in this. I love it. Tell yeah. us and tell our viewers a little bit about United Way and the programs that you run. The United Way of Greater Atlanta, we're all about individuals and families thriving. So at the end of the day, for us to make that happen, we understand our communities do well when our kids do well, right? And that means that they have a stable household, a place to live, they have access to education, of course, healthcare. Um, so it was important for us to partner with Citrix in such a wonderful way, because this screams exposure for our kids. This screams education. Obviously, exposure to not just Citrix, but just, you know, what are the different pathways into technology, right? And so this just kind of opens the world for them to be able to see this on a grand scale, um, and we're very happy to be a part of it. And this is a part of our kids thriving, yes, exactly. obviously, right? Exactly. For them to be here, um, you know, for the competition and for the overall conference. To have United Way here at a platform like Citrix Synergy and to bring all these bright young minds yes. together to create and do something with their hands, and with science and technology, and even if you look at the battle bots, there's a lot of art drawn into yeah. these too. <laughs> yeah. But I want to bring in Louise Montez from Heat Sink Laboratories because we are getting ready to have an amazing competition with these kids in the BattleBots. Tell us what we're doing. Today consists of a bunch of students assembling robots, souping up the robots, putting all kinds of customizations on them, controlling them from a web browser, using Bluetooth, having a battle, a sumo battle. We have an arena, they smash into each other, parts go flying, one bot emerges as the champion. But what's really great about this is it crosses so many disciplines. We have electronics, we have art, we have some mechanical engineering in here. The event's able to bring all these things together into just a couple hours worth of, of building. Uh, you'll see there's all kinds of really cool bots coming out of this. I cannot wait to see what these kids have done and with the battle bots that they're creating and going into the battle circle with their tablets, yes. really yes. operating these bots exactly. that they have created exactly. amongst their teams. And, and a big shout out to Google Google, they loaned us the Chromebooks oh, so that the go. students could use those Chromebooks to actually code nice. the bots. So thank Excellent. you, Google, for that. I would encourage everybody within the sound of my voice, if you're watching this, get out into your community. 
Find out how you can participate. Find out how you can give back. And if you're ever at a Citrix event, this is the place to be. Put together some STEM and STEAM kits for these kids that go into the local communities. Participate with United Way. Try to give back to those communities. It is such an important part of our culture here at Citrix, and we hope it's an important part to you too. All right, we're gonna go watch the BattleBots. That's it for me, Shondo on the go, here at Citrix Synergy at my favorite place, Simply Serve. We'll catch you next time, bye-bye.